Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is October 28, 2015. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in today. So today we're going to start off with the usual S&P 500 E-mini futures. You're going to see that the futures are trading higher by about three points right now to 2063 and a quarter per contract. So a nice little uh, uptick ahead of the big, highly anticipated FOMC announcement. So, that, so today the Federal Open Market Committee uh, will meet, and that is the Federal Reserve, and they will uh, vote on U.S. policy uh, today. So around 2 o'clock this afternoon, we're going to see what the Federal Reserve has to say about the uh, interest rate policy in the United States. Are they going to talk about raising rates? Will they raise rates? Are they going to talk about doing some type of operation twist? What's going to go on? The market is waiting to hear that, and it will be out today, this afternoon. So again, um, we're going to look for some action in the morning, and then the market probably goes into sideways mode until the Fed announcement is made later this afternoon. All right, let's take a look at some stocks in the news. First one is the big one, Apple. Apple really uh, is trading up a little bit. It was a wild mover after the closing bell, though. Traded above 118, then below 111. Now settling in around 116.46. I think Apple's stuck in a little spot here. I don't really see a lot of upside here, but you never know. We'll see how it plays out. But in my opinion, right around this 117, 117 and a quarter level, there looks to be a lot of resistance for Apple intraday today so we'll see how it plays out now apple affects a lot of different companies so you could look at stocks like swks skyworks you could look at stocks like avgo you could look at stocks like ar uh, arm h armh so there are so many names here that are part of the apple supply system um, that could be affected jable circuits is another one this one can uh, also be affected. So you want to watch Apple. As long as Apple holds up, these stocks generally hold up. If Apple does not hold up, these stocks will generally fall in sympathy to Apple. So again, you got a lot of stocks out here to look at once Apple starts moving. But right now, Apple is holding firm and uh, it is trading higher than where it closed. Stock did close at 114.55 yesterday. All right, let's move on right now. I'm going to take next one is Twitter. TWTR stock is selling off sharply. Closed at 3134, now trading at 2794. I have gap levels ready in the chat room. Now, if you were a member yesterday, you came over, you know we played the Hartford group right in the morning. A lot of traders caught that yesterday morning. That level was given out at 9 a.m. And we played that shortly after the opening bell. Also, later in the day, UPS was another gap level that played out for over one point in just a matter of minutes. So again, if you want today's morning gaps, come on over, take a seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. And again, those gap plays will be posted up right around 9 o'clock in the morning. You'll have them before the opening bell even rings. So again, gap plays are posted before the opening bell every day. All right, let's take a look next at Gilead Sciences. I believe they report in earnings. Right now, the stock is trading at 108.80, closed at 110.96. I'm going to have to look for some levels on this. Nothing I see right off the bat. But one area that looks attractive to me would be around the 104, 103.75. I don't know if it'll get down there, but this is a biotech, and these things can move, and I've seen them move quickly. Next one is Akamai Technologies. Again, Akamai is getting hammered today. Closed at 75.55. It is now trading at 61.45 a share. I have gap levels already done for Akamai. So they will be posted up in the intraday stock chat room right at 9 a.m. And we will look to play Akamai today. Right off the bat, though, this is definitely a weak equity and a pretty good sell-off. May have some more selling to go before this move is over. Let's take a look at AFL, which is Aflac. Uh, stock right now is trading at 62.30. They reported earnings, closed at 63.15. We're not going to make too much out of it, but we'll keep it on the radar once the opening bell rings today. Garmin reported earnings today. Let's take a look at that chart. Right now it's trading at 34.46, uh, closed at 34.79. So Garmin is a little on the weaker side, but nothing terrible here. We'll look at this once the opening bell rings, but I do have levels for Garmin as well. Let's take a look at Hershey. Ticker symbol is HSY. I have gap levels already done. Hershey's got a pretty good drop here. 
Stock closed at $94.33. It is trading at $91.86 now. So I do have gap levels already worked out for Hershey, and we will look to play that equity as well. Let's take a look at Hess. I have not looked at this one this morning, but I do see that they have earnings. Stock is trading at $56.09, closed at $56.93. A level I like for, her, for Hess would be around $50.85. If it could get there, I think you, you might get a little bit of a bounce play around that level. Let's take a look at good old Mondelez. Ticker symbol is MDLZ. And um, this is an uh, old spinoff of Kraft Foods. Right now it is trading at 46.60. Stock closed right at 46.60. So we'll keep this on the radar today. I'm not seeing anything uh, all that great or all that terrible yet. But if the stock does pull back a little bit, um, you'll probably have a little bit of intraday support around 45.80. So keep that on the radar. All right, let's take a look at um, international paper, ticker symbol IP. And you're going to see that is not showing us any indication or pre-market activity. Let's take a look at Northrop Grumman. I believe they reported earnings as well. Stock's trading at 190.95. Closed at 180.60. So that's a new all-time high for Northrop Grumman. Um, nothing I would do here. The stock looks to be overbought on the daily chart. The weekly chart is still holding up in an uptrend. So if you own Northrop, what you do is you just trail your stop loss. You don't have to get out. You can see if the market will push up a little bit more. But um, again, trail that stop loss immediately just in case the oversold condition becomes a selling condition. All right, let's take a look at uh, one more here. We're going to look at Yelp. I need somebody. Yelp, this stock has been in a downtrend, and guess what? It remains in a downtrend. Close at 22.90, trading at 22. This is not a pretty chart. I just wouldn't even do anything with this stock at all. Ultimately, it looks like it wants to go to 20 bucks, and um, we'll see if that is the case. But again, uh, Yelp really needs some help here. All right, uh, I think I covered everything I wanted to get through stock-wise. Let's take a look at the gold market. Gold futures trading up $8.40 today. They are up ahead of the Fed. Now, gold is going to be very, very volatile on the Fed news. I don't know if it's going up. I don't know if it's going down. But remember, if the Fed says something uh, along the lines of raising rates, that could affect gold and knock it down. If Fed says something along the lines of staying easy with easy money policies like 0% interest rates on the Fed funds rate, which is what they've had since December of 2008, then gold can go a lot higher. So again, technically gold is in a good, good, solid, strong position at this point in time. All right, let's take a look at the crude market. Crude futures bouncing up today by 43 cents. They were hammered to the downside. If you followed my daily market report, you know everything that I talked about with oil, and that did come to fruition virtually to the penny. So again, a little uptick there today in crude, and we thought that would happen. All right, so we're going to leave it here. We want to wish you all a great trading day. Once again, come on over, take a seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat. You'll see everything that we're doing. We had a blockbuster day yesterday, and we're going to look to keep that going. And 2015 has been a stellar year for in the money stocks. With that being said, everybody, have a great trading day, and we'll see you on the charts.